And something else I've noticed is there is a repeat, and I think for our shots, it's not going to be that obvious, but in V-Ray 5 there is a new map, and we can use stochastic tiling. So let's open up the Material Browser. And to use stochastic tiling, you need to use the UVW randomizer. And then that plugs into the bitmap, but this only plugs into V-Ray bitmaps. So rather than create a V-Ray bitmap and then load these in individually, what we can do is actually convert these bitmaps to V-Ray bitmaps. And it's really simple. We just right click in the viewport and you can go to V-Ray bitmap to V-Ray bitmap, sorry, V-Ray bitmap to V-Ray bitmap converter and just hit convert. Cool. So we can see that these have now been updated with V-Ray bitmaps and you'll see that compared to the, the general Autodesk bitmap, we have a way of plugging this in. So I'm going to run an interactive just before we add the stochastic tiling so we can compare. So it's not actually too bad. Let's, I think the more we zoom out, the more noticeable it will be. Yeah, so, so now we can start to see some of the repeat going on. We're probably not going to do any aerial shots, so we could get away with this, but maybe it's good practice. But it's probably good practice just to make sure things aren't tiling. So all we have to do now is turn on stochastic tiling and just plug this into each of our V-Ray bitmaps. And we can use the same one on all of them. And now this is controlling all of our bitmaps. So if you did want to change the tiling, for example, you could do that on one. Um, and previously, you'd have to go into each bitmap and change them. So this is a great addition. And we've got stochastic tiling on now. So if I just run the interactive again, we should see this be a lot more randomized and you won't really be able to notice the tiling. And there you go, that's how you can add stochastic tiling to your materials. Hi guys, and thanks for watching. I hope you found that video useful. This video is actually part of a larger course, so if you think you'd find that useful, then check out the link in the description, and feel free to like and subscribe.